Okay, here's my Hexbug Nano experiment where I've actually modified a standard Hexbug Nano V1 by adding some legs from another Hexbug V1, which was a casualty of war because I trod on it. And um, as you can see, I've got three extra legs on its backs. So there it's new antenna. Let me just compare that with the standard V2. And as you can see, its back is a slightly different shape and it's got the same characteristic three legs. Now we know that can climb this tube. I'm gonna just show you the difference between my Hexbug V1.1 and the standard one version one Hexbug Nano by climbing up the tube to see how far they can climb. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see the very top of that tube. And as it's so close to Halloween and it was quite a macabre operation, I thought it would be apt to have some pumpkins to encourage the guys to climb. So as you can see, standard Hexbug V1, nothing special or different about that. That's as far as you can climb. Here's my, and he is rather noisy, which is partly why I got some, he also got selected slightly faulty. There's my Hexbug V1.1, and as you can see, already pretty climbing. So he's already got to the top, he's stuck in his nose out the top there. And as you can see, I'll do that again, so it just wasn't a one-off. So he pushes past Hexbug V1 and can already climb quite a way up that tube. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just have to free this guy out of here because it's gonna be a little bit frustrating for him to, to stay buzzing around there whilst we do this second stage experiment. So I've already shown in other videos that you can actually have these Hexbug V1s climb the V2 tube, but only when they're being pushed by a whole bunch of Hexbug V2. So this is something quite different. This is actually him climbing his own on his own steam. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop him into a closed loop. So I've got here a closed loop, so I have to pull out so you can see this. And what I'm gonna do then is to show you him climbing on his back and at what angle he can achieve. So he can't quite climb vertically, which I'll show you that in the next step. So let's just clear this about the way. And some of these bugs, just to make a little bit of room for this guy. And I'm gonna trap him inside this. So let's just get him going. Now on his side, he's gonna find it rather easy. Hopefully it gives me enough time to get this connected up. And then what I'm gonna do is hopefully get the camera and the bug together. So let's just first of all start with a, a bit of a climb. So as you can see, he gets quite a way up the incline on the curve, but he doesn't quite manage past the clip and he gets easily stuck. So his, the way he's built at the moment, so here we go on a straight, he's kind of able to make a 40 degree, maybe a 45 degree incline. I'm not being very mathematical here because I haven't got my protractor out, but there he goes. He's climbing quite nicely. Now I'm gonna show him on his back. So let's just get him around in another straight section and then I'll quickly flip it. He's quite good on his back. There we go. So there he goes past you quite merrily on his back, whizzes down and round and quite easily goes again up the incline. So apart from trouble with the clips and the fact he can't climb more than about 40, 45 degrees at the moment, and the fact, of course, it took me to uh, cut up a couple of the bugs to make this monster. So I'm gonna zoom in whilst I'm playing with them on the angle here. Let's hopefully get the camera to focus quite nicely on there. So as I vary the angle, he's able to climb to a certain degree, but I can, there we are, I can hold him almost at that point there. I'm gonna zoom out there quickly. And that is almost 45 degrees, but not quite. So how can I demonstrate the uh, height, depth? I'm not quite sure how with this angle, but uh, there's a tube, which I'm sure if you've got Hexwood V2s you'll be familiar with. I'm gonna just slide it along so you can see what we're talking about here. So it absolutely isn't, I use a shorter tube, it makes more sense. Ah, there we go, now that's, that's a height you guys can measure. So if I, if I, there we go, demonstrate that perfectly. So that's a half length tube with one clip in a standard large curve. So this isn't, that isn't the tight curve. The, uh, the guy has problem with these tight curves. I'll show you that in a minute as well. And you can just about, you can see him struggling there. It's a brand new battery. Just about make progress. He's holding his own, but he's certainly not climbing. Let's just do this without the clip. Let's see whether I can do this one-handed. No. Nope. I'm having no fun getting that off at all. <laughs> sometimes these clips, clips come off really easy, sometimes I don't. I think he's already demonstrated he can, he can easily climb that though. So again, same point connection, he's managing to climb that. So there we go. So 
that's the kind of angle if you get yourself one piece of tube with a curve straight length and a simple curve this the um the the two-part curve not the single part curve you can just about climb but he's struggling on the clips so let's just get him out of here and i'll show you how far i'm getting with the tight clip he says again i can't separate these things you never can when you want to can you let's do there we go let's let him spin around there we go so let's just get him into a tight curve and he doesn't like this at all so let's just get this clipped in there and i'm going to just shove him quite quickly i'm going to zoom in again for you he really doesn't want to go in there there we go he's already saying no now i just can't really get that tight curve to work properly and he pretty much gets stuck there again again of course i can tilt and help him but he's uh he finds that really quite difficult and gets stuck so again i've got a few things to sort out for that as well but uh, all in all, I've got a few hex bug ones that have uh, been damaged, and if I can get the exact angle, certainly the rubbery material is correct, then I'm uh, getting reasonably close to a climber, which uh, some of you might be interested in. So some of you guys that have also got a lot of hex bug V1s and are moving into hex bug V2 might find uh, my, my experiments interesting. I hope you uh, found this useful. I wish you guys luck. Anything you guys find tip-wise, do please share. I'm very interested to, uh, to get this to succeed. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe and comment.